All right, so let's talk about planes. Uh, planes are not the same as the Wright brothers. In the history books, we have to go to museums. We have to go to the aviation topic. But uh, if you do a deeper dive, there is a uh, competition between Wright brothers and a lesser known gentleman called Samuel Pierpont Langley. While today, the Wright brothers are fly in the world, but in the world, they are the major underdogs. Thie. In fact, uh, during the race to the sky, uh, most of America had its own money on the man I mentioned earlier, Langley. Samuel Langley is an outspoken astronomer, physicist, and aviation pioneer. Theo. Langley's high stature as the secretary of the Smithsonian Institution gave him both the credibility and hype he needed to get America on his side. Not to mention, he is a well spoken reward department, but a significant amount, um, almost $50,000, ko Theo Belama a funding pound of Theo. A long story short, despite all the hype, Langley's uh, flying machine ended up crashing and burning while the Wright brothers' plane ended up soaring high in the sky. In this side, the entire world was used to resources and most importantly, the money was used to earn money. In the other side, there was a bike shop and a passion to fly. So let me ask this, uh, can you guess um, why uh, Wright Brothers say uh, no, you know, goal, which is flight, uh, you know, the this is suffer bhaiyo, rakina Langley failed bhaiyo. Can you guys guess? Wright Brothers ko Langley mathi ko victory here ne ovane, it came down to passion, motivation and perhaps praise. While Langley was busy, you know, sharing his ambitions with the world, and getting heavily praised uh, for things which it did not uh, achieved yet. Orkatira uh, here Wane, Wright brothers were receiving very little to no attention whatsoever. Their uh, experts are Bhanjan. Praise can f you know, give you that feeling that uh, you have already achieved your particular goal or ambition. Junse tapaile achieve gornu bhasai na. Tiyora sense of feeling dinsan. Just like Garda, you are very less likely to follow through your goals. For example, he is a German professor. So, in the research article, when intentions go public, I have a question. Are scientists more likely to write papers if they tell colleagues about their intentions or if they keep their intentions to themselves? So, yes, Mark Goldwitzers and his team of researchers carried out a handful of studies. Here is a brief uh, excerpt from the findings. Other people's taking notice of one's identity, relevant intentions apparently endangers a premature sense of completeness regarding the identity goal. So what uh, goal wizards found was uh, whenever individuals set a goal that is closely tied to their identity and share their intentions with others, they are less likely to achieve the goal. For example, if Tapaiko goal say uh Pani Dhere Khanu Hobane, uh Ra Tapaile Afno families, you know, closed one, loved ones like Bhanu Bayobane, this will uh, most probably have very less impact. Abasod Nuhola, why? Uh Kinabhane drinking water is something that you don't uh, really relate to your identity. On the other hand, for example, if Tapaiko goals say let's say uh, 15 to 20 kgs got no ho bane, it might not be the best idea to actually post into your uh, social media sites. Your appearance is something that you hold very closely to your identity. So if you tell people you're going to lose weight, um, you know, and this was the Bible man say, oh, you're awesome, you're going to look great, bane bane, tapai, uh, you're very less likely to achieve your um, goal of losing weight. This finding is a bit counterintuitive Considering we were once told by our teachers and coaches growing up to set our goals, share our goals, hold ourselves accountable, but the theory certainly holds some weight, pun intended, and is one that has been adopted by highly successful serial entrepreneurs like Derek Sivers, founder of CD Bay. Sivers, let's say, TED Talk dinu baathiyo, yeh topic ma. Everyone, please think of your biggest personal goal. Imagine deciding right now that you're going to do it. 
Imagine telling someone that you meet today what you're going to do. Imagine their congratulations and their high image of you. Doesn't it feel good to say it out loud? Don't you uh, feel one step closer already, like it's already becoming part of your identity? Uh, well, bad news, you should have kept your mouth shut, because that good feeling now will make you less likely to do it. When we share our goals, we have the completion of feeling. We have normally finish the feeling. We never actually pursue the goal. I'm going to lose 20 kgs, I'm going to start a business, I'm going to start a podcast show, I'm going to pay off all my debts. This is the first time I saw status on social media posts, friends, family, even the past days. So, as I said, let me uh, give you a challenge to register yourself, um, to share your goals to your uh, friends, family, your loved ones. So, I will silence my comments and then I will make a noise. Speaking before doing is useless, um, otherwise you are just seeking validation for something that you have not done yet.